Hi everyone. Uh, I have been asked by many students to make a video on how to use the Admiralty notices to mariners for the correction of charts. So I thought I will make a, a series of videos on this topic because uh, I cannot cover the entire Admiralty notices to mariners in one video. So I want to make a series of these videos and uh, cover all the essential aspects of Admiralty notices to mariners so that you can learn about the entire publication. So this is part one in that series of videos uh, where I will explain the structure uh, of the Admiralty notices to mariners first and then in my future or forthcoming videos, I will take up each area and show you how to use these notices to mariners to update your publications. Now, why I've decided to take up the first page or the structure of the notices to mariners is because it comprises of essential information that mariners often overlook. And if you go through the admiralty notices to mariners in detail, you will find that the explanation is provided in detail if you take the time to read it but it's important that you become familiar with the first page first before you start using this publication to update your publications now the admiralty notices to mariners is a one of the most important i think publications provided to mariners at sea because it helps us to update our uh, charts and electronic charts as well and the related publications used for passage planning of the ships and allows us to keep our ship safe throughout the passage uh, or the voyage so before you start going in deep into this make sure you read the instructions or the information that is provided on the very first page of the admiralty notice to mariners and that is my intention here today so if you see here uh, this is the first page of the admiralty notices to mariners and uh, let me start by pointing out that the uh, if you don't know this already then the admiralty notices to mariners uh, or often sometimes also called admiralty notices to mariners bulletin uh, or anme nb is uh, published by the uk or the united kingdom hydrographic office as you see here on the top of the notice to mariners so uh, the united kingdom hydrographic office is also known as a ukho and the uh, just for your information the united kingdom maritime and coast guard agency or mca which are the regulators uh, in united kingdom it's like mmd in india or uh, amsa in australia they accept uh, that both the paper and digital forms of these notices to mariners uh, comply with carriage requirements uh, which is as per the solas uh, convention safety of life at sea convention and the merchant shipping regulations so on your ship you can carry either the paper format the booklet the notices to mariners or you can carry it in digital forms these just provided of course through usbs previously provided through uh, CD-ROMs now these days you have it through USBs as well and you can carry it and because this has been a regulation since 1st of July 2002. The UK Hydrographic Office also um, warns you that uh, although this information provided in this publication is as accurate as possible there could be chances that there is a little error that has been incorporated unintentionally so you should always exercise caution and that means that uh, for example if you have marked a uh, danger to navigation on a chart uh, try to put some leeway from your side don't pass very close from it pass further away from it as much as possible give a wide distance if serum uh, is available so this uh, this is an example that although they provide you with all the information that is necessary and they cannot uh, or they cannot uh, guarantee the exact uh, the the absolute accuracy of this information sometimes there could be errors which are unintentional and passed on to the mariners the second information that you have to see is that uh, these notices to mariners are issued on a weekly basis uh, we will also talk about the annual notices to mariners and the cumulative notices to mariners uh, in another video the annual notices to mariners are issued once a year and cumulative is issued 
once in every two years and it compiles all the information uh, that was issued on a weekly basis in one publication but this is uh, issued every week and that is because the mariners should be updated they should not wait for one year or two years to update their publications this is issued on a weekly basis and depending on how fast your ship touches ports or how your company supplies you with notices to mariners you should be getting it on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis or once a month depends on how frequently you touch ports and how your company sends you this information this is all now becoming electronic so it is becoming easier to avail this information so this is uh, from 2019 and this is a uh, week 47 and you can see the date of issue is provided as 21st of november 2019 however it was published on the admiralty website on 11th november 2019 itself so you can if you have access to the internet on board you could have access this on 11th november itself the the paper publication was published on 21st of november or issued on 21st of november 2019 we then move on to the contents of the notices to mariners this is of course the most important bit uh, which i will take uh, into the depths i will i will teach you guys uh, each and every part of it in my forthcoming videos i want to take up each part separately and show you how it is used rather than me trying to show you the entire publication at one go and you uh, losing interest in the middle or not really understanding how it works so it's better that i make the videos in series so that you can watch all the videos one by one or depending on which you want to focus on you can watch that particular video and learn from it so the content section uh, starts off with explanatory notes which you should be very familiar with i'll discuss this in my next video it provides you with the publications list so the charts or publications that have been uh, affected uh, or have come out with a new issue uh, the explanatory notes should be read by the mariners they should be understood by the mariners because it contains all the information that you need to use these notices to mariners it's uh, very useful it's very user friendly and that's how they have designed it uh, then uh, section 2 uh, contains admiralty notices to mariners updates to the standard nautical charts so they provide you with the latest uh, uh, chart that has been published uh, or latest edition of the chart that has been published or uh, an edition of the chart which may have been taken out of circulation uh, section 3 provides you with a nav area 1 navigational warnings uh, or reprints of those navigational warnings section 4 provides you with updates to admiralty sailing directions which are also publications used for the passage planning of the vessel section 5 uh, provides you with the changes that have been issued for the admiralty list of lights and fog signals so of course there are a number of publications uh, under admiralty list of lights and fog signals depending on the geographic location so if there are any changes that have been issued then that will come under section 5 uh, it's not necessary that all of them have some changes but if there are any changes to any of them that is issued in section 5 similarly sailing directions which is section 4 there are a number of publications of sailing directions depending on the geographic location so again if there are any changes to any of those sailing directions that is issued and we will be covering all that in separate videos and i'll show you how they are listed and how you go about correcting each of them section 6 provides you with corrections to the admiralty list of radio signal publications that is alrs and again there are a number of publications under alrs uh, depending on the purpose and this time it's not the geographic location it's the purpose of the alrs what it has been uh, published for so again if there are any corrections to any of those publications and then it is also listed there section number seven provides you with updates to other or miscellaneous admiralty nautical publications other than those that have been listed above so other than sailing directions list of lights and fog signals as well as alrs volumes if there are any other admiralty notice or nautical publications the changes to that or updates to that are provided in section 7 and finally updates to admiralty digital services are provided in section number 8 uh, you can see here at the bottom uh, that there are certain communication facilities available regarding the notices to mariners as well now you have to be very familiar with this uh, because uh, the first one that you can see is notice to mariners on admiralty website uh, these days of course many ships have internet available so the weekly notices to mariners 
uh, or updates for paper charts and publications can be accessed via this website that is provided so link is provided there so if you have internet on your ship and you don't want to wait for the paper publication you can actually go into this website and find out the latest but the digital version of course of the nautical mariners uh, the weekly update is available 10 days prior to the paper publication date and there are no subscription fees for access to the UKHO notices to mariners website so you know it is available 10 days before is because uh, you can see above that the paper publication was issued on 21st of November 2019 whereas uh, the website published the public the notice to mariners on 11th of November that is 10 days earlier so if you have internet available on your ships you should be using this facility then the searchable notices to mariners you can again go into the website which has been listed here and select the search option that you require uh, and there are certain on-screen instructions that you can follow for example if you just want to follow by chart numbers you can follow you can search up uh, the notices by chart numbers or you can search the notices by chart numbers and previous uh, nautical marine the previous notice to mariners number or chart number plus between previous and present dates so you can uh, search for single notices to mariners by notice number or year or you can select search uh, by chart so if there is a particular chart you want to correct you can straight away type that chart number and the corrections to those chart will come uh, on your page or if you are lo looking for a particular notice to mariner you may have missed one then you can search on this website on that website by the notice number then we have uh, the urgent navigation information provided if you want that urgent navigation information you can email to the email provider or you can call up there are a couple of numbers provided as well as fax provided uh, the notices to mariners are also available online like i said just go into the website which is provided and then you can find uh, annual notices to mariners cumulative notices to mariners uh, weekly notice to mariners uh, anything uh, under that category you can find that then you have uh, the h102 form so you don't know what h102 forms is i'll talk about that uh, at the end of the video uh, and we'll talk about what this h102 forms are all about uh, but before i do that i want to show you something more important and that is the copyright uh, disclaimer that is provided at the bottom now this is very important because it uh, tells you that the copyright to these notices to mariners is held by the uk hydrographic office or the UKHO. that means you are not provided with uh, the permission or you don't have the permission to make any kind of digital or paper copies of these notices to mariners and distribute it without the permission of the UKHO. So uh, this is something that you must take very seriously um, and that without their permission you are not allowed to distribute it uh, or provide it to somebody else uh, and uh, the copyright solely lies with the UKHO and uh, you are not allowed to even sell any copies uh, so uh, there could have been incidences in the past when people have tried to sell these so if there are any other uh, people from other ships come to you and they say i want copies of this and can you provide it to me you are not allowed to provide them with the copies unless you have the permission which i really doubt or i doubt that you will have that permission without uh, the uk hydrographic office's uh, uh, approval so do not do so this is something very important and because if it uh, you are if the, anybody comes to know this is a infringement of the copyright act uh, now i'll come back to the h102 form so what is the h102 forms all about so this is basically now of course everything is going digital so the uk ho has actually developed a h note app uh, or it is an app that you can download on your smart devices and there are uh, different functions of these apps so this app actually allows you to send uh, notices or notes to the UK hydrographic office using your uh, smartphone camera or GPS or email and it is available for free download of course from the app store and you can actually use the H102 forms to forward this information to report any uh, display issues with electronic navigation charts 
all right so the contact information is provided there the email information is provided so if you have any issues uh, with correction of the electronic charts or display of the electronic charts or uh, the use of admiralty notices to mariners with electronic charts you can actually use the app on your smart device and send the information directly or you can email them regarding this issue so you can see that h102a is uh, used for reporting changes to port information and 102b is used used for reporting any kind of GPS or chart datum issues. So of course copies of the forms can be found at the back of this publication or on the UK Hydrographic Office website as well. Alright, so I thought before I start uh, showing you how to use these notices to mariners, I should explain the important bits that you often overlook, especially I used to do that when I was a mariner, I used to straight away go into the uh, publication and start correcting the publications, but it's important that you become familiar with the first page because often even questions are asked of you and uh, even as, as you grow in ranks and you become a senior officer, you should be very familiar with uh, the structure of the admiralty notices to mariners because it has some legal application or legal implications rather and also essential information that would be very useful to you as you become a senior mariner. So I'll stop this video here now and in my next video I'll go deeper into it. I'll start showing you how to use the notices to mariners and the every aspect of it because uh, it pretty much contains all the information that you need to use the publication. All right. So thanks guys and let me know what you thought about this video. I look forward to your feedback and how to improve the videos. Bye for now.